Hello and welcome back to Battle Plan, a podcast focused on spiritual warfare. I am Steve Hemphill and Battle Plan is an ongoing discussion of how we put our faith into action by practicing prayer plus some kind of action. Our website is active-faith.org. My email is stevehemphill1 at me.com. I'd love to hear from you. In our last episode, we talked about how God uses Satan's ignorance. Today, I want to discuss this uh, very important question. Can symbols invite demons into your home and your life? Isaiah 57, verse 8, New Living Translation, is where I want to start today. It says, you have put pagan symbols on your doorpost and behind your doors. You have left me and climbed into bed with these detestable gods. You have committed yourselves to them. You love to look at their naked bodies. Now, this is written from the prophet Isaiah to the nation of Israel. And of course, God had instructed them in Deuteronomy 6 to put um, his word on their gates and doorposts. So they were putting a mezuzah on their doorpost, and then behind their doorpost, they were putting pagan symbols. It would be like worshiping Allah on Friday and Jesus on Sunday. See, God doesn't accept dual worship. So they were kind of covering their bases. They were putting pagan symbols uh, behind their doors. And, and it says, in doing so, Isaiah 57, 8 says, they left God. Just a symbol in their home. It says they left God and climbed into bed with these detestable gods, and it, it, it uh, symbolized a commitment to them by displaying that symbol. Now, that may be a shocking statement to some people, but that's what scripture says. On top of that, it says you love to look at their naked bodies. So these symbols included pornography, uh, nudity of some type. So this porn is not a new problem that we're facing today. It's been around since the days of Isaiah and before. And these symbols displayed in their homes, uh, pagan symbols, showed a partnership with God's enemies. And if you read the context, it says he's set against them because of that. Now, in light of that story, I want to share a very uh, interesting story. A, uh, a pastor named Glenn, um, he's, he's uh, deceased now, and I'm sharing this story uh, after his death. But Glenn was the pastor of a very large church in East Texas. He called me into his office one day and said, Steve, I, I love what you're doing. I want to tell you a story that I think will help you help others. That's an important illustration. He said, I grew up in a, in a strong Christian home. My dad was a Green Beret. He was in the military. And uh, I was uh, nine years old when this happened. He said, our family's prayer time each day was at the dinner table. And one day, as we were uh, about to have our, our dinner meal together as a family, we were kind of going over our prayer list. And Dad said at this, at this particular meal, I sense an evil presence in our home today, so I'm going to add that to the prayer list today. Glenn said, I was nine. I didn't know what he was talking about. But we prayed about it. The next day, his dad said the same thing. He said, I sense that evil presence is still here, so we're going to leave that on the list. They prayed about it the second day. Third day, Glenn uh, is home working on his um, homework, uh, sitting on his bed after school, and his dad walks into the room in the end of the day, late in the day, and says, uh, son, what are you doing? He said, well, dad, I'm working on my homework here. He said, well, that's great. And then he pointed up on a shelf in Glenn's room at a model jet and said, Glenn, what's this, and where'd you get it? Glenn was uh, proud to tell him that, Dad, well, that, you know, that's a, whatever it was, F-16, I don't know what the, the model of the jet was, but he said, my best friend Billy liked to put together these glue together pieces. You buy a model kit, you glue with super glue, glue the pieces together into the, into the model of whatever it was, a jet or a car or whatever, and then there were stickers that went on them, and then you'd display them. You'd put them on a little pedestal and, and display them in your home. And he said, Billy already had one of these and somebody had given him this. So he put it together, but he gave it to me. And he said, well, that's great, Glenn. What are these symbols on it? So Glenn got up and went and looked at the, at the jet. And he said, well, dad, that's Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines. He said, I know those symbols. What's this other one? And Glenn looked at it and he said, I didn't know what it was. 
And he turned to his dad and said, I don't know. Well, it was a Playboy bunny. And his dad said, well, Glenn, I know what that symbol represents. And you need to know that that symbol is inviting an evil presence into our home. It represents a group of people who are trying to pull people away from God and destroy marriages. And the fact that we're displaying that symbol in our home tells people we endorse what they're doing. And we don't want to do that. It's, it lets evil in. And Glenn said, I was nine. All I could think about was, he's about to take my jet. You know, he was real proud of this little model jet. And his dad in great Christian wisdom said, Glenn, I'll tell you what, let's do. Why don't we take the jet down and go sit on the front porch. I'll give you my pocket knife and we'll scrape that symbol off. And I'll take you to the dime store. We'll buy you whatever sticker you want to replace it. And we'll put a new sticker on there. Would that be okay? And Glenn said, yeah, dad, that way I can keep the jet. And Glenn said, I've never forgot that. And after that, the symbol was gone and we quit praying about the evil presence. Dad said it was gone. So in light of today's thoughts, let me suggest that part of your personal battle plan might be to be aware that symbols as seemingly harmless as the Playboy Bunny might be letting the enemy right into your own home. Maybe you could pray like this. Lord, open my eyes to any symbols that are inviting the enemy right into my living room, opening up my family to evil. Help me to close those doors. In Jesus' name. See you next time on Battle Plan, where we're going to talk a little more about symbols. I'll call it Symbols Part 2, Dream Catchers, Rabbit's Feet, and Tarot Cards. And let me remind you to keep praying, because prayer works. God loves you, and I love you. Have a great day.